Hey there guys, this is a test of my fire alarm system. This will be system test one. Um, to set off the system today I'm going to be burning toast just to make sure it actually works in a real, um, real situation. So if we come into this room, <coughs> this is the smoke detector we're testing. I've already put the toast in so hopefully it's getting crispy. Um, doesn't smell burnt yet, it smells cooked, so I'll have to wait a bit more. Um, the reason I'm doing it with toast and not just using a magnet or smoke is just to test how sensitive it is. Um, since the toast is here, and the smoke alarm's all the way over there. So, in my system I've got smoke detectors, heat detectors, strobes, um, 100 volt speakers and pool stations. So here's the pool stations. Um, there's three of them in total. There is seven smoke alarms in total. And I think seven speakers too. Right, hopefully this is getting there. Starting to smell a bit burnt. Um, I'll give you a quick overview of everything in my system. <coughs> so, this is the last speaker on zone one. Um, there's a heat detector. That's on zone four. Another zone two speaker. Um, and obviously that smoke detector there. Strobe, new pull station, Series 60 smoke detector, um, another speaker supposed to be in there but that's under maintenance at the moment, here it is here, um, another one of those ones, and in here is a silence button, so this button here silences the whole system. In this room, got a strobe, another smoke alarm, and a speaker. In this room, another smoke detector, speaker, pool station. <coughs> Okay, so the toaster's popped up, but it hasn't set off the alarm, so... Obviously, it's not that sensitive, unless I put it in again. Um, it has been set off before, due to burnt toast, but obviously not today. <coughs> so what I might do... It's since my brother's here and I don't want to annoy him, I'm going to switch off every speaker zone. So that's speaker zone 1, 2. I'm going to leave 3 on, that's speaker zone 3. Um, I'll turn the strobes off. And cool. We'll go test the zone down in the laundry. Okay, so what I've done by turning those switches off is just turned off every single speaker except zone 3, which is down here. Okay, there's the last pull station. So to operate, push in glass and flip it down. Do that now. And I've just replaced that with plastic. So you can see zone 4 is an alarm. Okay, we'll go silence that. Emergency. 
we'll try another zone. So I don't know if you can still hear the alarm, but this will silence it. Alright, so now the alarm's silenced. And this is something I made myself. It's I wanted it to be red, but what it is, is if anyone accidentally pressed a button um, to silence it, you'll know straight away that it needs to be serviced or something's wrong with it. Um, or if my mum wants to get my attention, she pushes that button and she doesn't even have to call me, the light just turns on. Um, so we'll reset that now. Where are my keys for my alarm panel? What did I do with them? Uh oh. I'll be back. Okay, so we're back. Now let's reset the panel. Okay, there's the switch to reset the silence function. There you go, let's reset. Reset the panel. I can't remember if I reset the pull station. I don't think I did, it's probably going to go off again in a second. We'll just see before I go back out. Dun 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 takes a while because this one's got a relay on it. I might just go check. Nah, there we go. As you can see, zone 4 is back in alarm. So if we just silence this quickly. You can also silence it from here. Just using this key. Right, so let's silence now. Take that back off. And we will try test another zone. So, let's see here. Um, I think we'll try zone 2. And we'll turn on the strobes because we're inside now. We'll turn off zone 3. Okay. Let's do it. So this is zone two. Let's pull the fire alarm. Um, I've got a weird way of doing it. Since it's screwed onto the wall and this one has actual glass in it, I usually just get in from the back, I don't know if you can see there, and flick it. Emergency! Evacuate now. Evacuate the building using the nearest fire exit. Emergency. So that's zone two. One there. Evacuate now. Evacuate the building using the nearest fire exit. Emergency. And you'll see if we go into the laundry. The speaker that was going before, see, that's why the alarm went back off. I need to reset that quickly. See, that's the plastic I use. I just cut out cheap plastic and put it in. Um, since this zone's down in the laundry, um, there's no lock on this door when we're not home, so if someone decides to um, turn it on, then it's not going to cost me a fortune to find more glass. So that speaker is no longer working because I've switched it off. But you can clearly hear that zone zone two is still working. Evacuate now. Evacuate the building using the nearest fire exit. Emergency. Okay. Evacuate now. Evacuate the building using the nearest fire exit. As you can see, it's as simple as that to silence it. Uh, 
and that will stay silenced until I go reset the panel. So that's the function of that button because in, in a commercial system you're not supposed to be able to silence it yourself. You're supposed to wait for the brigade. Um, <clears throat> but since this isn't brigade connected and my mum, um, she's on crutches at the moment so she has a lot of trouble getting into my room to reset it. Besides she doesn't really know how so I just put this button in. Um, so it's just a quick easy press to silence it. And that top one's just a light switch. So yeah, we'll go reset that again, and we'll try zone 1. We'll reset the panel. Reset. It takes a bit sometimes for it to turn off. Okay, so now we'll turn zone 2 off, zone 1 on. Okay then, so for this final test, um, we'll test one of the smoke detectors. Actually, no, I'm going to test a call point, because I haven't tested it in quite a while. Just make sure it's still working. Now, yeah, let's just stick to the smoke detector. Too much effort. Trying to find a magnet, sorry. I'll be back. Okay, I've decided just to test the whole system. We'll turn everything on. Right, so this is the whole system turned on. And let's go pull the fire alarm. Not as easily resettable as the American ones. We've got more modern ones now, but um, couldn't afford those, so I just stuck with the basics. Hopefully this will come undone in a second. Jeepers! It's proving quite difficult. Okay, there we go. Here we go. Down. Emergency! Evacuate now! Evacuate the building using the nearest fire exit! Emergency! Evacuate now! Evacuate the building using the nearest fire exit! As you can see, that's going through the whole Emergency. house now. Evacuate now! Evacuate the building! Using the nearest fire exit. Emergency. Evacuate now. Evacuate the building. Using the nearest fire exit. Emergency. Evacuate. Okay, we'll go reset the system one last time. Evacuate now. Evacuate the building using the nearest fire exit. Emergency. And it's, that's it, pretty much. Reset the call point.
Right, there we have it. System reset. And there we go, just like that. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, it's pretty much my fire alarm system. And then other system tests, I'll do smoke detectors and test all that good stuff out. Um, okay, thanks for watching.